Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris. It's your boy, Chris. It's another amazing episode of Financial Patient. This channel is all about making money. It's all about saving money. It's all about building generational wealth. And it's all about financially emancipating yourself from generational poverty. So, guys, I got a question uh, today that one of my uh, subscribers listen, um, who's listening to my channel asked me. And um, when I first got the question, I was going to answer it on one of the interviews that I was doing. But I decided to uh, kind of break that out and do uh, basically answer it um, on this format just because it was a little deeper. It's a little more important. And it's honestly something that I see pretty much all the time. And a lot of people ask me this question. So this is the question that uh, one of my subscribers sent me. Um, it says... My little brother is 30 years old. He lives in our mother's basement. He works a dead end job at a has at a hamburger restaurant. He's fat. He never went to college. He's unhealthy. He has no confidence. And he spoke to me and said he's tired of essentially being a loser. He's tired of not having any money, tired of never having a girlfriend, and he's tired of always being broke. Um, my little brother's confidence is completely shot though, and he has no idea how to level up as a man. I watch your channel a lot and I follow you on Facebook. And what advice would you give my little brother? So, um, there's a lot to unpack with that. And uh, it's actually one of those kind of questions that I actually get a lot of times, uh, particularly when I'm like playing ball, when I go back home, when I talk to some of my friends and especially when I talk to some of my uh, family members and things of that nature. This is a question that I actually get a lot. So in this particular video, guys, we're gonna talk about how to level up professionally and uh, essentially, I guess, make yourself more desirable to women. Um, so these are the type of conversations that I know that uh, my father personally had with me and, um, and with me and my brothers. But because I think there are so few men that are growing up today with strong fathers in their household, and there are so few strong paternal father figures because of how many kids that are, how many boys, unfortunately, that are growing up um, in single mother households, this is a kind of conversation that's getting lost. So today, guys, in this particular episode, we're going to talk about how to essentially level up as a man, if you will. So the first thing I would tell you this, man, is uh, your your little brother, your brother and any man listening to this, stop, wor stop worrying about getting a girlfriend. That's the first thing. And I also want you to realize this. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Nobody is coming to save you, period. This Disneyfication that we have in our society where people think the federal government or somebody's going to come save them or welfare or whatever, nobody's coming to come save you, particularly if you're a man, because nobody's going to feel sorry for you. So the first thing I'll tell you is this. Realize that nobody's coming to save you. Don't feel sorry for, for yourself. And you need to realize you need to save yourself. When it boils down to it, uh, men, we only truly have kind of three purposes. We are put on this planet to provide. We're put on this planet to protect our wives and protect our communities. And we're put on this planet essentially to lead. Now, I'm not going to be disrespectful to the women. I'm not saying women can't do those things. But men, we pretty much only have three op We only have three purposes on this planet to protect, to provide and to uh, lead. So I'm going to tell your little brother, first and foremost, I think that he should try to get some form of therapy or counseling. If your brother goes to church or whatever, or he goes to the mosque, there are men and there are women in those churches pretty much and in these are religious institutions that can probably uh, give him therapy and counseling uh, for free. If he does not, if he does not, if he's not in the church or whatever or anything like that, there are tell him to Google essentially free therapy and free counseling sessions. And most companies and most organizations have some form of a uh, free mental help um, because if your brother has no confidence. He is in his mental issues or whatever. He should seek professional um, counseling about that. Secondly, you said your brother uh, is working at a fast food joint at some kind of hamburger stand or whatever. I don't know where it is, but uh, the first thing I'll say is this. If your brother is only working 40 hours a week, that's the problem right there. You're a man. You need to be working at least two jobs. If you're living with your mother and you're not taking care of your body, that means you have a lot of free time and you're only working 40 hours a week, people. That means you can get a second job. So my advice to your brother, to any man listening is if you are, quote unquote, in a dead in this dead situa deadbeat situation where you're 30 years old living in your mother's basement and you only work in one job, get a second job. That's the first thing. So you should be working, looking at jobs at the bowling alleys, convenience stores, uh, fast food restaurants, whatever. My personal favorite is that I think your brother should get a second job working on a construction job site. Because if you are a roofer, a carpenter, a laborer, or you dig ditches for a living, you dig coffins and things of that nature, you quickly realize that A, you have to get up very early. So it kind of stops what you are doing the night before. And B, physical labor has a funny way of kind of making, forcing a man to realize, okay, I need to figure out something else to do with my life. So he needs to get a second job. And once again, if you're living in your mother's basement, you should absolutely be working a second job. Secondly, before you go to that second job, I am a firm believer pretty much that everybody needs to be in better shape. Right now, the United States military concludes that less than 23% of men who graduate from high school can actually afford to uh, essentially, can actually pass basic training. That means 77% of American men are too essentially obese, too unhealthy, and too overweight to essentially be of any use to the US military. 
basically you said your brother's um you, your words not mine you said your brother is fat and he's unhealthy that means he needs to get in shape so if he can't afford a personal trainer this is what he needs to do he needs to go to walmart buy a seven dollar jump rope and every morning before he goes to his construction job or before he goes to his first job he needs to do 10 push-ups 20 burpees and 20 sit-ups every morning and he needs to jump rope for 15 minutes I actually have fitness programs below and the e-products because I do have a personal training business um, in addition to being a mechanical engineer in addition to doing financial patients. So some of those products are gonna be below. But your little brother, because he's unhealthy and in your words, he's fat and he's out of shape, he needs to get in shape. And he needs to do, like I said, 10 push-ups, 20 burpees, and 20 sit-ups every morning. And he needs to jump rope for 15 minutes. If he can't do that, cut those uh, numbers in half. Five push-ups, 10 burpees, and um, 10 uh, sit-ups and jump rope for only eight minutes. And that's what he needs to do. And every two weeks, he needs to increase the amount of push-ups, sit-ups, and burpees that he's doing by roughly 20%. So your little brother's gonna quickly realize that as his body improves and he starts losing weight and he starts fitting into different types of clothes, A, he's gonna have more energy to work harder. B, he's gonna have a lot more confidence pretty much in his abilities or whatever. He's gonna enjoy the man that he looks at when he looks into the mirror. And uh, C, he's gonna get more confidence. Next, once your brother is consistently holding down two jobs and he's working out consistently, he needs to do your mother a favor and he needs to move out of her basement. Now I get there's some cultural uh, elements to it. There are certain cultures that say you need to live with your mommy and your daddy until you're basically um, married or until you move out the house or until you have your own house. Uh, this is America people. If your brother did not grow up in that culture as far as uh, staying in his mama's house, he needs to move out. He has no confidence in himself. And something else I know is that a lot of times men that live with their mothers, particularly men, women, it's a little different. A lot of times I know is that men that live with their mothers, unfortunately what happens a lot of times is the mother washes their clothes, cooks them dinner, cooks their breakfast, cooks their lunch or whatever, and essentially uh, changes all their clothes and uh, cleans up behind them. If you're a 30 year old man, basically, and your mother is cooking all your food, washing your dishes, washing your clothes, there's really no incentive for you to, uh, to grow up. And women find that, that, that to be an extremely large turnoff. So once your brother is consistently holding down two jobs and he basically um, is working on a consistent basis, he needs to move out of your mother's house and move into a furnished, inexpensive cheap well a furnished inexpensive studio apartment that way it forces him to learn how to cook it forces your brother to learn how to clean and it forces him to do his own laundry additionally on top it also forces him how to figure out how to get to work because if your mother's driving him to work every day that's also a serious problem he needs to get a bicycle um or he needs to basically figure out a way to get on a bus route to walk to a bus route so he can get to work um and if he wants to buy an automobile he needs to buy a, a used a used car nothing new the next thing i'll tell your brother is this after he is consistently holding down two jobs he basically has moved out of his mother's house and he's working out. He needs to figure out a career. I'm not going to be disrespectful to my McDonald's workers or my fast food joint workers, nothing like that. But generally speaking, people, you're not going to build generational wealth working fast food jobs unless you own the fast food restaurant. Your brother essentially needs to get a career. So a lot of YouTubers boo hoo and they uh, basically dump on blue collar dudes. I don't do that on my channel. Uh, I know for a fact you can make a lot of money if you're a licensed electrician, plumber, or carpenter. People are kind of shocked when they figure out how much money you can make and the amount of hour, amount of money these people make per hour. So your brother needs to get a career. If he wants to go the blue collar route, I have a video basically where I talk about different blue collar jobs you can get. So your brother, if he wants to become an electrician, a plumber, an HVAC technician, a carpenter, or anything like that, check out my link. You can easily make over $100,000 a year in these careers. If your brother's more of the white collar dude, if he wants to go the more of the college route, um, my advice is to tell him is to get a degree in science, technology, engineering, math, healthcare, law, or finance. And the reason why is simple. If you get a degree in science, technology, engineering, math, healthcare, law, or finance, your brother is guaranteed literally to have a job because the unemployment rate for those careers are like less than 1%. And on top of that, you'll be making well over six figures once you actually get into your career. So um, if your brother, once he gets into his career, he either wants to go the blue collar route or the white collar route, he needs to get a career. And on this channel, once again, I don't dump on blue collar dudes trades. I mean, people don't wear a friggin' shirt and tie to build a, a, um, a condo in downtown Miami. They basically uh, wear dickies, hard hats, and boots, and they basically work their balls off every day. So uh, next, the next thing your brother should do, oh, by the way, uh, please like, please comment, please subscribe, hit the uh, like button, it helps the algorithm, and I enjoy giving you guys free content. But once your brother gets a career and everything, um, once he gets his own place, he needs to start a business. 
So um, capitalism rewards business owners. If you are not familiar with it, if you own your own business, you spend your money, then you pay taxes. If you don't own your own business, if you're a typical W-2 worker or whatever, you pay your taxes first, then you spend the money. So the American version of capitalism seriously rewards business owners. So your little brother needs to get a side hustle. And that's the reason why I say he needs to have two jobs. Because when you have two jobs and you're used to working 80 hours a week, you it's basically very easy for you to get a career and then to still have a second job, i.e. your side hustle. So your brother basically needs to start a business as well. And starting a business is simple. As I said earlier, I have a, a video where I talk about the top, I talk about uh, businesses you can start for under $100. If your brother basically, uh, whatever his hobbies are, um, he can start a business doing that hobby. He can um, go to LegalZoom.com basically create a uh, create an LLC and create a legitimate licensed business. So he should be working 40, at least 40 to 50 hours a week at his construction job or 40 to 50 hours a week at his um, white collar job. And he should basically be working in business. So this is how you level up as a man, people. And the last thing I'll say is this, uh, your brother needs to find his tribe. If he's a 30 year old man living at home in his basement, he doesn't have a girlfriend, he has no money and he's broke. He's probably a pretty lonely guy. He probably has no friends. So he needs to find his tribe. And why his tribe, what I mean is he needs to find a group of dudes, perfect, I would say preferably three to five legit day one type guys that have his back pretty much. Just kind of like you have his back because you're, you're his brother. And he needs to basically start hanging out with these guys. I typically like to hang out with a tribe of men that are more successful than I am, that have been married longer than I've been, that uh, for lack of a better word, are more spiritual than me. Um, that basically make more money than I do. I like to hang out with brothers like that, guys that have more successful businesses than I currently have because they push me to be a better man. Uh, typically, uh, additionally, women find it extremely sexy when they see a man hanging out with a group of good dudes, basically because that means that woman can introduce her single attractive friends to those guys. So uh, my tribe, just if I could keep it completely honest, if I could keep it a buck, my tribe was boxing. My tribe was kickboxing. My tribe was mixed martial arts. My tribe was my gun clubs. My tribe was my basketball leagues. My tribe was the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. My tribe was the, was the National Society of Black Engineers. Those are the type of dude, and my tribe was also my church family. Those are the type of brothers, those type of dudes that I kind of rolled with or whatever, because I found different types of men that basically were in those groups or whatever. The guys I hung out with in my basketball leagues were very different from the guys I hung out with in my gun clubs. The guys I hung out with in my engineering societies like shit, and the National Society of Black Engineers, they were different from the guys I did jujitsu with and I did kickboxing with, but it all worked because we brought a different synergy and a different level of um, of uh, thought and everything to what we were doing. So your brother needs to find his tribe. If your little brother's into, I don't know, anime, if he's into hiking, if he's into video games, if he's into hunting, whatever it is, working on cars, whatever it is, your brother needs to find a good group of dudes to start hanging out with because these guys are gonna tell your brother, okay, such and such is hiring. Okay, you're, this is what you're doing with your career. I think you can do this and you'll make more money. Okay, you're talking to this girl. I don't think she's good for you. You need to get away from her. Men, uh, we have a way of kind of doing that because when we really when we really like a guy, we're basically gonna teach you how to level up. Why? Because when you succeed, we succeed as well. So uh, as I said earlier, if your brother gets educated, um, whether, that's learning a whether that's learning a trade in the blue collar world or gets college educated, if he takes care of his body and he's good with his money, your little brother, not only will he be able to move out of your mother's house, he will literally always have women in his life. And the last thing I'll say to your little brother is this, if he's a 30 year old man living with your mama, after he basically uh, gets both jobs, after he basically starts stacking his paper, after he moves out or whatever, he needs to say, mom, what uh, country do you want to visit? What cruise? I, I want to take you on a 14 day cruise. Why? Because you've been carrying me for the last 30 years and your brother needs to basically uh, take your mother on a cruise because she deserves it. Okay. So um, that's my advice to your brother. And that's my advice, honestly, to any man that wants to level up. If your brother is 30 years old, if he takes my advice in five years, your brother is going to basically have, uh, he's going to be in very good shape for one. He's going to have his own place. He's going to have his own career, whether it's white collar or blue collar, whether it's white collar or blue collar. He's going to have his own business. And on top of that, he's going to be very confident and, he ha and he's going to have a very good group of guys that he hangs out with. So um, any man, if you do these things, basically your brother included, you won't have to worry about chasing women. Women will literally chase you. And more importantly, you'll learn to be building generational wealth for your future kids and for your future's family. So to any man that wants to level up, that's pretty much the advice that I give you pretty much. So that's what I, just like I told you in this video, that's the advice that I'll give you. And I know that it works, okay? So that everybody, uh, this was a kind of different video today. I talked about essentially how you level up as a man. And once again, this channel, Financial Patience, is all about making money. It's all about saving money. It's all about building generational wealth. And it's all about financially emancipating yourself from generational poverty. 
please follow me at IG, the real underscore financial patient. My Facebook channel is financial patient or check out some of my digital e-products um, below as well. Once again, everybody, please hit that like button. Uh, please share the video, please comment and please subscribe. It's your boy, Chris. Okay. Have a good one, everybody. Take it easy. Peace. Peace.